you said at the beginning that the CBD category in the whole beverage industry is about a $14 billion industry. The whole craft beer industry is about a $20, $25 billion industry. So there's a lot of ground to pick up here, and there's a lot of new consumers. And if you look at this, the soda industry, it's declining about 7% each year. And we're a soda drinkers. So they're going to be drinking drinks that are infused with CBD, THC, etc. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel and welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to talk about Tilray. We'll cover our current positions. Uh, we did some trades today. We'll cover what the CEO had an interview with one of the news folks, as you see earlier, and we're going to go through that video. Some great information out of there, and it's going to it's a precursor to earnings coming up here in the next week or so. And then we're going to cover some Reddit news that just came out in the last 24 hours or so. And then we'll cover the uh, chart and we'll, we'll tell you what direction that we think that the stock is heading. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and click any of the money icons below to review our past videos. And smash the like button and subscribe so let's get busy now let's talk about our position uh, we picked up these 500 shares today and we put a cover call against her we're down here on the 14th for this week you can see the profits that we could pick up 177 there and 195 there and then we also performed another cover call today one another week out to the 30th of July we picked up $257 in premium, and if this stock gets called the way, we'll achieve $460 worth of profits there, plus $257 of profits there for the next following week. We still have one open position, and the other position it still has a covered call against it at the 20 strike price, for the 30th of July as well. And we'll roll those puppies over. It's all about making that cash. We need to keep making cash and premiums off of this stock. We only deal with real money on our videos. All right, the market is closed. All the indices are in the red. 1.5% uh, for the S&P. The Dow is over 2%. NASDAQ, 1%. And the Russell is 1.5% down, down, down. Tilray only went down 2.23%. It was even down a little bit further than that earlier in the day. The analyst still has a low of 1.27 and the high is 25. And currently we're, we're somewhere in, in the medium there, but the average is 18.82. Our market cap has dropped down to $7 billion. That's crazy. Now let's go for the projective earnings coming up here. These are the estimates. The average estimate is, is $0.07, cents, minus $0.07, cents, versus a year ago it's minus six five. And they're talking about the revenue estimates. The low side is about $496.5 million. The high side is about six hundred and ninety-seven million, and the average is somewhere somewhere around five sixty-one. Even though the company missed their earnings last time, I believe they're they're going to exceed it this time because they merged with that other company. Okay, the next item I want to cover is right here. Monday, July nineteen, just came out at ten a.m. This is part of our breaking news. Uh, 10 marijuana stocks Reddit is buying amid a new federal marijuana legislative bill. And then they go through the process and how they select them. Um, I will place this down below. But we are, again, number one. Number of hedge fund holders, 21. Their fourth quarter of earnings is coming out before financial markets open on Wednesday, July 28th. When a company announces before a market opens on a Wednesday, it's because a company 
is not worried about their earnings. Normally, earnings are put out the Friday afternoon after the market's all closed. So there's no big reaction and analysts will have over the weekends to mull over the report. This is another reason why I think it's going to be positive news. Now, this is just my opinion. So let's cover a little bit about the video, and then we're going to go and we're going to cover our charts and where I think we're heading. And listen, one of the reasons we bought Sweetwater to be in that industry, you know, to go out there and sell beer, to go out there and sell CBD drinks, one-day THC drinks, and, you know, have the infrastructure and the distribution to do that. Coors and Hexo, has anybody actually had any hits and any mainstream products? So I think an important part is, hey, what happens with legalization, number one? That's what uh, Congress is currently working on, on legalization. So a lot of these beverages can't be sold in certain states. It affects all these companies of selling their products. You know, there's a lot of confusion out there with CBD and drinks in which states it's legal, which states it's not. But I think, again, we're moving in the right direction. 93% of Americans want cannabis legalized. 93% of Americans want to be able to buy drinks with either THC or CBD. So there's just a lot of unknown out there, but the demand is there. A number of folks think marijuana should be legal in the United States, so Congress will act accordingly. We'll be the first that will be Tilray, because, you know, we do have sweet water. Um, we know about consumer products. We're going to go out there and build brands. We've just launched our Broken Coast brand, which is our first brand out of our Canadian cannabis, you know, group that we're launching here in the U.S. in a beer. Okay, further we're going to discuss on what's going on with the stock and why it had a huge run-up and had a pullback of about 18%. So I think, you know, listen, the Canadian market is now open. Canada was closed since November. And just in regards to sales in Canada, in regards to sales, you know, in regards to Europe. But listen, there's a lot of piped up demand. And with that, I think there's just, with these two companies coming together, they came together May 1st. We're integrating these. We have one management team in place. We've already achieved close to $35 million in synergies. A lot has happened in regards to pulling these companies together. All right, now that's a little tidbit there. $35 million worth of savings there. Now we're coming up to earnings coming up here, and he just turned around and saw the synergies of $35 million worth of savings. So this is going to be a good thing for the earnings coming up. That's why I'm saying it's very critical that you listen to certain parts of the CEO's interview. And with our beverage business and our hemp business in the U.S., Listen, I think a lot will change depending on what comes out of the Schumer, you know, Booker bill. And with that, I'm going to continuously look at where are other, you know, acquisitions that we're going to look at doing both in the consumer area, both in the beverage area, and looking at where else we can do acquisitions in Europe in the medical area, which I think is a big opportunity out there. That's why he's asking for shareholders to go ahead and vote for the company to increase their share count because they're looking for additional acquisitions. Maybe it's going to be in Germany on the medical side. Maybe it's going to be somewhere else in another country. He's thinking on increasing this company huge globally. So we got to give this gentleman a chance to get there so then we can all be profitable. I will place this a video down below i would really listen to what he has to say okay let's see what's happening with the stock the red line is a 200 day moving average and the blue line is a 50 day also down here at the the rsi the rsi dropped way down here to the 25 so we're in the oversold range when it happened down here before when the rsi dropped this low the stock went higher that's why i think the stock is going higher and secondly, today, when the stock dipped down to the level that it did on uh, May 13th, it immediately started going northbound. And that shows to me that it's trying to do a positive trend here. This is the 15-minute. You see how this thing came down here and tested it a second time at the 1339? I think that's where our new floor is, 1339. It done it twice, and then it popped back up. And then we had a little bit of resistance here at 1371, 
and then it came back down a little bit. And my belief before earnings, we'll be way up here somewhere around the 1450 level. So we, we got another dollar to go before earnings, if not all the way back here to the 1623 level. That's just my thoughts. I want to thank you all for watching today. I wanted to go over some of that analysts. Uh, information and the upcoming earnings pre-earnings information and what my thoughts are and where I think the stock is heading to before earnings I believe we're gonna have a good earnings it might not be great it's gonna be a good earnings because they just combined some companies together during this quarter but I believe the next quarter is to come how uh, this company is gonna keep moving forward and doing all the right things and they're gonna keep their costs down and they're going to show some serious profits. Now, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and please share them with us down below. And please share our videos with others. And smash the like button and subscribe. I appreciate everyone watching the video today. You guys take care of yourself. Until next time, this is Sonny. I'm out.